In this section, I will attempt to highlight how the Orc Traveler platform, which is being evolved to promote heritage and culture, can also inculcate business economics for all stakeholders. This use case elaborates on a hospitality partner example. We have taken the liberty of using the Taj name as an example since we are in discussions with them on the prospect. This use case will bring forth how the Oct Traveler experiences can benefit a hotel chain to upsell or cross-sell their existing products, services, experiences to their guests, while also highlighting the various initiatives that they are taking to promote responsible tourism at a destination. At the same time, the platform can help build a recall value for the brand for the guests while engaging better with them. We believe the Oct Traveler platform can use the same approach to partner with other B2B entities operating in the travel tourism domain, such as destination management companies, internet travel companies, airlines, heritage railways, banks selling travel insurance, EV cab aggregators, etc. This slide highlights how the Oct Traveler platform has evolved a hub and spoke model for the hotel and its guests wherein the heritage and cultural experiences are evolved on the platform for a destination. Furthermore, the existing local business partners of the hotel or Org Traveler who operate in the space and represent the local communities can be onboarded in a digital format to enhance the extended visitation experience for the guests. This positively impacts the responsible tourism initiatives of supporting small businesses in the hotel vicinity. Here is a look at a typical guest journey who checks in at the hotel. The guests are provided with a city heritage pass which holds a unique QR code. On scanning the QR code, the guests can download the Opt Traveler app which becomes co-branded with the business partner logo. The app platform has specific sections earmarked within the curated monument and cultural experiences where the hotel partner can push forth full banner ads of their existing products, services, experiences to the guests and thereby implicitly impact the revenues and business. This feature on the app can also help the business partner highlight the various initiatives that they are taking to evolve their ESG and CSR roadmap while promoting sustainability in business and a responsible tourism model. Interestingly, the augmented reality feature of Oct Traveler app experience can further help the business partner to evolve a deeper engagement with their guests at the hotel and also on their social media handles. For example, these augmented reality photographs are taken by guests using the Oct Traveler visitor experiences at the heritage sites. The partner can evolve a gamification model where they can get their guests to tag these images to their social media handles. They could also gamify the campaigns. For instance, the best picture gets a complimentary coffee at their cafe or a discount at their spa or on cocktails, etc. Most hotels also run a travel diary section. The calendar widget on Oct Traveler app can highlight anything specific that the partner hotel wishes to highlight besides the other events at the destination. The hidden gems of an area or a destination can also be highlighted on the TripAdvisor top bubble rated content that is integrated within the app experience. Most premium hotels also highlight the arts, crafts, handlooms of the region. For example, the Taj has a brand called Kazana, which is a physical store for highlighting the cultural and heritage products of a region. These are mostly sourced from local communities that they support. These products are proposed to be hosted on the Oct Traveler app under the Culture Heart section which is the online curated marketplace of the platform. Furthermore, the products from the Kazana store can also be highlighted on the geolocation based cultural walk experiences for the guests where the local arts and crafts are highlighted as part of the storytelling and through the banner ads feature on the app. This linkage is then drawn to these cultural products on the Culture Heart section thereby completing the visitation and shopping experience loop for the guests. Here are some other business revenue models on the platform which can evolve. We envision the Oct Traveler experiences to be at the ticket windows of the monuments, which can further extend to the self-guided walks which can be offered to the visitors, the Culture Heart section where we have a revenue share model with the community businesses, the Oct Traveler education series where we have partnered with Macmillan Education in India, a leading publisher, and having access to 30,000 schools across the country, a revenue share model there as well. 
As per our roadmap, the business model can further evolve by building a SaaS-based model for local businesses such as cafes and restaurants, etc., which are triggered using geolocation markers and user preferences. The immersive AR-enabled cultural treasure hunt games can be another revenue model. And an Orc Traveler channel on auto navigation systems for bikes and cars, etc., that we've envisioned is another interesting feature which can generate revenue. This completes my presentation on this very interesting topic. I would wish to thank my colleagues and stakeholders at the Center for Heritage Management for this opportunity, as well as the audience for their kind attention. My sincere apologies again for not being able to visit this event in person. I will be very happy to connect with you on LinkedIn or on email if you have any questions on the presentation. I wish you all a very constructive and successful event. Thank you.